Good morning, my friends. Yes, it is still morning. I have to look and see because I normally head out earlier than this. But you know what? I was feeling really tired yesterday and thought I needed a little extra sleep. So I do that occasionally. I like to get up at five or six. Today it was closer to seven, but I still got my morning routine in, which is the main thing. Morning routine is coffee, two bottles of water to start with, Bible reading with Wes, and then I move into my exercises, which is some arm and leg exercises I put together. Um, and this is my fourth filled bottle of water that I'll be going through today, this morning. I gotta do eight. So this is, I like to get those in by nine if I can, but it's okay if it's by 10, nah. You know, we can let that slide a little bit. So there are two ways that I work for people these days. Some of you work for a salary, some of you work by the hour. There's nothing wrong with that if you're happy with that. As long as you know all your options, I'd never really care which option you choose. It's just important to understand the way people do things. Option number one, we work together in real estate, meaning I list your house or someone on my team lists your house or represents you as a buyer. If so, you're like, well, yeah, I pay you. You do, but you pay me only as a joint venturer, meaning we're all in this together. If I don't sell your house, I don't get paid. If I'm an employee, I get paid no matter what, right? So I have to do a good job. I have to bring value to the table uh, and preferably get you far more money than you could have gotten on your own. This also, this number one also applies and my other business, which many of you know I have, which is Absolute Charm b, &B Reservations. People put their trust in that company to do a good job of getting their property, their Airbnb. I hate that term, but because we were Airbnb when it didn't exist, but whatever, I digress. But getting your property booked for you, we again, we take a percentage. We don't book you, you don't pay. You don't pay us money to represent you. You give us a share of the income. I like working like this, right? How many of you out there work for someone else and you maybe you like the job, you like the work, you find value in it, but no one really wants to be owned. No one really wants to be controlled. I, I did that life, not for very long, but I worked as an attorney for five years. Some of you may not know that. And that's a very respected, high paying profession, right? Well, I'll tell you what, you're paid a salary and there's no way without being an app, and I still consider myself a workaholic, but there's no way without being a true workaholic that you can almost live that life and get paid enough because the hours expected are insane. That's why I got out of it after five years as a trial attorney. Enjoyed the work well enough, but I looked at the people older than me, ahead of me, more successful than me, and I didn't want their life. So I decided right then, that's when we went into retail. Again, I made money starting at 28. I only made money if we sold quilts or little gigaws, as my mom would call them, to put on the shelf, knickknacks. It was all based on being smart, being clever, being creative, uh, working with people to get them what they want. Who was it? Wasn't it Zig Ziglar, I think, that said, uh, well, we'll figure out who it was, who said, to get what you want in life, you've got to help enough other people get what they want in life, right? So I got what I wanted, which was money to feed my family by finding the right things to sell in my retail store. So this is way number one. It's a percentage commission only by helping you uh, get what you want. Now, it's even better, I guess in some ways, if you're a buyer because you don't pay your agent anything. The listing side pays that. So in other words, I think you get the point, not working by the hour. Number two is there are realtors out there who work with me at EXP. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I've heard this or whatever. And you know, the only people, I get texts from people, hey, can I pick your brain on this or that? You know who can pick my brain? Is the people who I sponsor at EXP and the people that they sponsor, period. And is that because I'm just being me? No, I've got to feed my family. So I'll help people out where I can, but I am paid not by the agent because otherwise I would work for that agent, right? I am paid by EXP when that agent sells real estate. So if someone I sponsor has a closing, this is just a quick example, um, and let's say they sell a $500,000 house, let's say they get a 3% commission, that's $15,000. EXP pays me 3.5% of that, which is $525. They put that in my account next month. Well, how motivated am I am going to be to help someone under me 
sell that $500,000 house. If they want my listing presentation, it's theirs. If they want anything I have to make their business stronger, it's theirs. I don't get any money for someone uh, being sponsored by me at EXP, but I do get money when they sell real estate. So I am what they call all in all the time on helping agents that are in my network. And I love that model because here's the thing. Our team sold, I looked the other day, I think it was $178 million last year in small town, Texas. We were voted, not voted, I mean, just the numbers, put us at number one gold out of all teams at all EXP, still so crazy to me, 70,000 agents. Our team, out of all the teams between 10 and 20 agents, which is a pretty beefy part of the curve, right? Between 10 and 20 agents, we were number one in terms of what we sold. I say that to say, I've got some ideas to share, but I don't want to create a course and charge agents money. It's just not my wheelhouse. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of that. What I love is giving that advice and mentoring away for free. But I can do it for free because EXP pays me. How smart are they, right? I have, matter of fact, mentored, sponsored someone into the company just in the last two to three weeks who is very interested in growing her Airbnb business. That's what she's into. She said, I know you do that, and I want you to be my sponsor because I want you to mentor me. I want to be able to run things by you. I said, man, we, I work for you now, right? She's actually coming down and we are going to go, we're gonna go through everything I can do to help her. We're gonna go next door to our building. We're gonna walk through, ask questions of the reservationist. Anything I know or have belongs to her. I'll never forget Dan Beer, who if y'all follow any realtors, you probably follow Kyle Whistle, Dan Beer, some of these guys. Well, we had a four or five way text going when my dear friend Mark Patterson put me down as his sponsor at EXP. One of my proudest moments in, in business, honestly, to be able to work with Mark, who I just absolutely love. But I loved it because Dan Beer, who not Mark knew quite well, knew who he was. Mark, Dan's a big deal in San Diego. So is Kyle, so is Mark, so all of these people. But we're in a five-way text, and as soon as Mark said, yep, I'm, I'm joining with you guys, this is the mastermind I wanna be in, I love it. Dan Beer's quote back to him was, hi, I'm Dan Beer, I work for you now. I mean, how succinct, but how great is that? And it's true, it's the way we treat it. If someone else calls me and says, hey, I've got a question, I'm a nice person, I wanna try to help out. Am I gonna help out the same way as when I get a cut of their success, from the company, not from them, which feeds my kids, my family, the people I have to take care of. No, I can't. I can be nice, but I'm gonna be so nice. So I'm just saying to you, if you are looking for that kind of opportunity, maybe you're a solo agent, maybe you lead a team. Mark Patterson was number one at BidBlock in San Diego. And he sent me a screenshot of that and I sent back and I said, oh, that is so cool, Mark. That's good for you. That's, I mean, that's a lot to leave. I loved his response. He goes, no, it isn't. He goes, I don't wanna be number one anywhere. I thought about it a minute and he's so right. He goes, I wanna be where I'm inspired to do bigger, badder, greater. And since the day he joined, you can go look at his track record, boy has he. He goes, I've gotta be around bigger thinkers. I've gotta not be maxed out where I am. I've gotta be the little fish in that big pond again. Are you the big fish already? Are you ready to be the little fish in the big pond and go, my limiting beliefs told me I've got this record and that and I'm doing pretty well or my team's doing well. Do you want to double it? Do you want to triple it? Go look at Mark's numbers. See what he did. Now, he didn't get a magic potion that he put me as a sponsor at EXP. He joined us and he just magically did well. Mark's a baller. He's a hustler and a hard worker. But what he did is he tapped into people who'd already done it. Me, Mary Maloney. Kyle Whistle, Dan Beer, Curtis Johnson, Chuck Fazio, Jay Kinder, Michael Reese, titans of industry are who is in our mastermind and we're willing to help. And say, oh, don't do it this way. I've done that, didn't work. Do it this way. Let me give you some tips. Why? Because they're nice guys. They're super nice guys. But they also got to feed their family. EXP finally created a way to feed your family and help people without taking a penny from them. Best system ever best system ever. I don't want to sell you a course. I People have always said, do you pay, will you do coaching? Can I pay you? You cannot pay me to coach. You cannot pay me to mentor. The only way I do this, and I, we really become family, is when I'm your sponsor at EXP. And what does that cost you? Nothing. 
costs $149 to join. Last I looked, that even includes some business cards. <laughs> so it costs basically nothing. Y'all laugh at this. There are two kinds of people I deal with. I have had serious conversations with people who have to write a seven figure doc check. So that's over a million dollars to get out of where they are, to get out of the golden handcuffs they're in. Don't quit signing up for stuff that handcuffs you. EXP's like, we're not handcuffing anything. If you're not happy, we don't want you to stay here, right? Stop the trap of the handcuffs. They're gonna have to pay over seven figures and they're figuring it out. They're coming regardless. And then I talk to people who it costs basically nothing, who can't get off the stick. What do you think? The guy that's having to pay seven figures to get out of something, you think he might know a little something? How did he get in that idiotic situation where he's gotta pay that, but what's his value, what's his business level? when it's gonna take that kind of commitment to get out of it. Compare that to the guy who got to sign some papers, pay $149, and we're, we're rocking and rolling. And that's the ones most often who can't make the decision. You wanna know more? I know there's a lot deeper questions to ask, but that's the gist of it. That's the basics, so hope this was helpful. Hope you have an amazing Thursday. It is beautiful and clear and sunny here in gorgeous Fredericksburg, Texas. And so that's just the word I wanted to share with you guys this morning. Have a great one. Bye.